la qualité d'auteur. Um, numerous resolutions have been passed by this House condemning Burma's military agenda for the severe breaches it has committed repeatedly against the human rights of the Burmese people. Yet these heartless generals take little notice of what we tell them. Instead, they continue their firm hold on power in a most disgustingly pompous and irritating manner. Even following the devastation of the recent cyclone, they not only hampered aid attempts from the free world, but they took advantage of the misery of their citizens in their time of need by promoting their own image as apparent Samaritans and angels of good by gross exhibitionist appearances on junta-controlled state media and by holding a referendum on the Constitution only days after the cyclone catastrophe struck. Those who oppose the junta are tortured, killed or put in detention. An example, of course, is Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi, who led the National League for Democracy to victory in elections held 18 years ago and has spent 12 years in detention. And recently, the junta decided to further extend the period of her house arrest. I feel that the time has come for more severe me measures to be taken against the monstrous junta of Burma. The most effective measure would be to exert pressure on China to stop supporting them. If China does not cooperate on this, then we must take action in relation to our trade relations with Beijing and with regards to the Chinese Olympic Games. This is probably the only way left to us to do something about freedom and democracy in Burma. Thank you.